Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got an unboxing for you. We're going to take a look at what's in this box. And yes, I know, if you looked at the title or the description or the thumbnail, well, you'll already know. So join me now down on the mat. Let's take a look at the pen, look at the ink I'm going to use, ink it up, do a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions. So here we are down the mat, let's fetch in the box. Here it comes. So this is the box that came and it's got in there a Wingsung 699. One of the things that attracted me to this pen, it's got a medium nib. Don't often get a lot of Chinese pens with a medium nib. So I thought, yeah, I've got to have that one. Let's go and take a look inside. Which end shall we have? We'll open this end, I think. So inside we have a pen. Let's fetch that out. And there's also a little leaflet. Let's have a look at what's on this leaflet. So here we've got a load of instructions. And here we've got details of how to fill it. Let's pop this to one side and let's get that box out of the way as well. So the pen itself, here we are. It comes in this wrapper. Let's take the wrapper off and pop the pen onto a pen stand. There we go. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. So this pen, it's the Wingsung 699 and it's in this gorgeous blue colour. Now I'm going to point this out, I don't know if you can see it through the, the material. This is a piston filler. Winsung 699s, most of them are vacuum fillers. I had one, but I had awful problems with it, mainly because the mechanism just wouldn't work properly for me. There was an issue with the cap and in trying to fix the cap, I ended up gluing it all together so it wouldn't actually work. So that's why I thought, well, I want another Winston 699 and I thought I'm going to stick out and I'm going to get the piston filler, which is what I've done. I love this colour. It's this gorgeous blue. It's the same colour all the way around. Let's do a quick walk through the body. So the cap, we've got this nice derm end here. That then tapers up until we get to this rather wide top of the clip. The clip, it's nice and springy. I, don't, I know it's hard to actually show this on the camera, but you can hear it. The cap itself, to me, it's got a slight taper to about halfway down the cap and then we seem to straighten out until we come to this cap band. The cap band there, let's turn this around, we've got some patterns, made in China. And then it looks like some decoration again. Very nice, very simple. From the bottom of that gold coloured band, we've got then a little bit of a slope and then a step down to the body. The body, to my eye, it's the same width until we get virtually down to the end of it. And we've got a little taper down to another gold coloured band. And again, we've got this finial here, which is where the mechanism is driven from. Let me undo that. There we go. And then hopefully we can see the piston's gone down. Let me tighten it back up again. And there's the piston back up. Really nice. Let's take a look at the business end, shall we? So it takes half, one, one and a half, two, about two and a half turns for the cap to come off. I'd have preferred it if it was under two, but it's livable. This then reveals this nib. So let's take a closer look at that. So here on the nib, it's two turned. Majority of it is gold colored, but then we've got these highlights with the little bit of silver in on there. In the middle, we've got a nice logo. Below that, we've got wing and then S. Then below that, we've got M for medium. Looking at the section, you know, the section is nice. It's got a little concave entry there. Means that my fingers fit nicely in it. There's no lip at the bottom. So the only thing I need to worry about is that my fingers don't slip down. But in two years, I've never done that. Number six size nib. I'm just going to leave that off. This pen is, I'm not going to say a clone, I'm going to say it's heavily inspired by the Pilot Custom 823. The Wingsome 699, I paid 35 Australian dollars for it. I do have a Pilot Custom 823. It cost me 
dollars more than 11 times the cost of the 699 granted the 823 is a gold nib whereas the wingsung is a steel nib just gonna pop there my 823 next to it now you can see there's definitely a difference in nib size the section is i would say slightly smaller on the 823 the 823 is a vacuum filler pop the caps on both of these so there's the pilot here comes the wing sun you can see how similar they are i'm saying it's inspired by you know i don't want to say it's a clone because there are little tiny differences but not that many and i want to stress one more time i could buy 11 of these 699s for the price of this 823 I'm not going to because I love the 823, but I just want to stress. So if you're looking for something that's very similar to the 823, and like I did when I bought my first 699, you know, there's no way I could have afforded that money. The 699, yes, it's there. There are differences, there are compromises, but it gets you the same body shape. I'm going to just turn off my lights and we're going to take a look inside the cap with an LED. So here we are with the lights off. Just fetching this LED and I'm just going to play it there over the body. You can really see the mechanism now. Then we're coming up to the cap. I'm trying to remember to use this LED more, especially when I've got these transparent type materials. So here's the cap. No, you can't really see it at the moment. Let's fetch in the LED. And in it goes. So about halfway down where the LED is now, you can see there's a little tiny lip. My assumption is that's where the section goes to actually seal off the nib to hopefully help it to stop it from drying out. Not sure if we can see down the barrel. No, let me, can we go this way? Can't really see much there. I say I'm playing around with this at the moment because I'm just trying to get used to using it. But yeah, I like the colour of that. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let's pop the lights back on. Okay, we'll pop the cap on. Just going to swap this over and we'll do some size comparisons. So there's the Wingsung 699. First two pens I'm going to fetch in. These are standard pens I've been using in all my videos. We've got a Pilot Metropolitan and we've got the Lamy Safari. So I'm trying to line up the tops of the pens. So definitely a longer pen, the 699. You can see that extra length on it. I'm going to uncap these so we can take a look at the nibs. So unposted, the 699, it loses a lot of that size advantage, doesn't it? To me, I would say the Metropolitan ever so slightly shorter. The Lamy Safari and the 699, roughly the same size. The nibs, you can see a difference in the nibs. You know, the Pilot Metropolitan, that's got a steel... I would say it's the pilot equivalent of a number five nib. Lamy Safari, ever so slightly shorter than the 699's nib. And the 699, that's a number six nib on there. Let's see what these look like posted. So posted, I would say the Lamy Safari, ever so slightly shorter than the Winston 699. The Pilot Metropolitan, wow, that's definitely a lot shorter. The 699, it posts really nicely. You know, I'm shaking that quite violently and it's not coming off going to leave that one there and I'm going to swap over the pens. So I've now brought in two different pens. The idea with this comparison, these are pens that cost roughly the same. So I've got a pen BBS 268 here. This is actually a vacuum filler and this cost me 32 Australian dollars. The other pen I've brought in is a Moonman or Marjon and it's the model S5. This is an eyedropper filler and this cost me 37 Australian dollars. And as I said, the Winsome 699, that was 35 Australian dollars, so really sitting between the two. But look at the size difference. The Winsome here, when it's posted, wow, it looks a giant, doesn't it? I'm going to take these off so we can see what they're like unposted. Unposted, the 699, ever so slightly longer than both the other pens. If we look at the nibs, again, the nibs, they're all roughly the same size. So I think they're all number six size nibs. I do like the colouring on the 699 where we've got the two-tone effect. Whereas on the pen BBS, that's all that silver colour. And on the S5, that's just that gold colour. Let's pop the caps on these and take a look. 
So with the caps on, 699, again, it beats the other two in size. That S5 looks like a baby compared to the other two there, doesn't it? Let's just move those out of the way. I'm just going to step away from my desk. I'm going to give the pen a clean. When I come back, we'll take a look at the ink. We'll fill it up, do a writing sample, and then I'll give you my first impressions. And I'm back. So I've given the pen a nice clean through. So let's take a look at the ink. The ink I've chosen for this, I've not actually used this ink in any pens up till now. I actually got it when I got my Pilot Custom 823 because it came in the box. And it's this, it's Pilot Blue. Now, why I've not used it in the 823, the 823 is brown and I want to keep brownish type inks in there. So that's why I thought again, when I was ordering this, that's one of the reasons I wanted the blue, because I thought this ink, I think will look nice in a blue pen. And let's look at them together. And they do, there's definitely a lot of the color of the ink coming through in the body. Now this ink, it is a gorgeous blue, isn't it? And what I can see, and certainly around here around the middle, I can see a load of red sheen coming through. Not sure how that will show up in the writing, but it's a medium nib. So hopefully we've got a good chance of getting some of that sheen in it. Let's move the card to one side and let's fetch in the ink bottle. So here we go. Pilot Blue. Nice big bottle. I don't know if I'll use this in my entire lifetime because I've got that many different blues. Let's open this up. I've just been giving it a good shake so there's a load of bubbles in there. Okay, let's operate the piston mechanism. It's twisting it all the way down, so it's all the way down to the bottom. In goes the pen. I'm going to twist it down. Then for completeness, I'm going to do another load. So it's pushing everything out. And then we fill it again. Looks like there's a liner in there which I've managed to catch. Have we got any ink in here? Yeah, that looks like a nice fill in there. And plenty on the actual body itself. Just clean this off so I don't end up with even more ink on my hands. I think to me that's one of the, I'm going to say downsides, but actually one of the interesting sides of using a fountain pen. The various colours that you end up on your hands. Close this up and get this bottle out of the way. Okay, going to fetch in my notepad. This is my standard testing notepad. So it's made by black and red. It's A5 size and it's using the Oxford Optic paper. Let's do some writing. So we've got here a wing sun. Six nine nine with a medium nib. The ink pilot blue. You know, looking at this ink, it so reminds me of being back at school. That, in my mind, is the blue that we used to use at school. The line on this, although it says it's a medium nib, it looks quite fine. Let's do some drying times. So, immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, after 30 seconds... That's nice and dry. I'm now going to move the mic so you can hear the pen writing. That nib is stiff. I can certainly feel that when I'm writing. It feels really hard to use. We'll have a look at line variation in a minute, but let's take a look at this writing. I'm not seeing any of that sheen coming through. There we go. Let me just try moving that light just to see if we can see anything. I think the line is more tending towards fine for my mind than medium. Certainly a lot of my mediums have a thicker line than this. It's okay. I don't mind. It's one of the things you have to learn about the pen, isn't it? Is what the writing's like. It is nice to write with. It's nice and smooth. If you could hear it, there's a tiny bit of feedback. I personally like some feedback on my pen, so I've got no problem with that. Let's take a look at line variation. So this is no pressure. This is adding a bit of pressure. 
So I am seeing a slightly wider line. This is something I can maybe work on with a nib to see if I can do that, get that wider line out of it. Let's do some messes though. It's nice, I like this. So the line variation is definitely there. This scribble test I'm doing here, I'm not a fast writer, so I'm just doing this to simulate fast writing to see if the ink flow keeps up. And it does, it's going all the way across the page, absolutely no problem at all. Now, I didn't put the cost on this earlier, so let's go back up to the top. This costs 35 Australian dollars. Really is quite a good price for what you're getting, I really do think so. So what do I think of the Wingsung 699? I love it. Yes, I know I've only used it for about five minutes. But I love the feel of the pen, but that's because it's based on that Pilot Custom 823, and I love the way that feels in my hand. The nib's a bit stiff. That's fine. It doesn't bother me because as long as I know what I'm getting when I start writing, I can live with it. The line's a little bit on the thin side. Again, I think I can maybe work on the nib a little bit, tune that nib up, and hopefully try and increase that, that width of the line. It's not something I'm planning on doing now, but it might be something I do in the future. I love the colour. I think this is so nice. I like the fact that we've got that bit of transparency or translucency. Now, this is a piston filler. So like most piston fillers, the mechanism takes up about half the body. So yes, you're not getting the same amount of ink you would do if you were using a vacuum filler, but that's fine. I can live with that because... It means I can change my ink colours more frequently if I want to. Although I do quite like this pilot blue in this pen. It's just a shame that I can't see the sheen that I was getting on that card. And normally my inks sheen really well on this paper. But all in all, I'm really pleased with this pen. I really enjoyed testing it and using it. And for me, these first impression videos, they're one of the ones I really enjoy because it's the first time I've experienced writing with that pen. And that to me is actually quite exciting. So this was my first impression of the Wingsun 699. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What do you think of the Wingsun 699? Could it be your gateway pen to a Pilot Custom 823? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit that thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon. Music